The president was mobbed by supporters when he made a pit stop at Versailles in Little Havana. What an historic moment in Local 10's Bridget Matter live now to show us much more. Bridget. And let's just first talk about the, his, the historical significance of Trump doing this, picking this restaurant. We know how significant this is to especially Cuban Americans and Cubans that are living here in Miami. They all flock to this restaurant for any historic event that might affect them. So this is Donald Trump kind of extending a hand saying, I'm making this special appearance coming to this restaurant to spend some time with my supporters. And that happened just less than an hour ago. We want to take you to video of Donald Trump from inside the bakery of Versailles. And you see him waving, saying hello to uh, the people that are, that are inside, saying, are you ready? Food for everyone, basically offering lunch on him for everybody. Uh, and also Jorge Masvidal, fighter Jorge Masvidal, was inside taking pictures with Donald Trump uh, in there. But we, we also want you to listen to uh, a little bit of sound from what he had to say today after he appeared in court, federal court in Miami. Are you ready? Are you ready? Food for everyone. Food for everyone. So we want to take you to the sound of him talking about uh, his campaign. I think it's a rigged deal here. We have a rigged country. We have a country that's corrupt. We have a country that's got no borders. We have a country that's got nothing but problems. We're a nation in decline. And then they do this stuff. And you see where the people are. We love the people. And you see where they are. You see the crowds and everything else. We have a country that is in decline like never before. And we can't let it happen. So this is what Donald Trump is going to be doing. He is now moving on to campaign for the 2024 election. And really, he's using this indictment. It's been used by him and his campaign to really boost him. And a lot of supporters that we talked to today are saying that they don't really believe in the charges against him, that they are still going to support Donald Trump in the election as he is the front runner for the Republican Party. Donald Trump now leaving Miami, but it will not be the last time that we see him as he still is facing those 37 counts despite his plea of not guilty earlier today.